All right, hope uh, everybody's having a good day. Uh, you know, we've had a Wednesday, Wednesday practice, um, you know, third down, situational, little two-minute red zone introduction. Um, thought there was, uh, there was moments it was solid work, and uh, there were moments where, you know, we were, we were not meeting the standard that is necessary. And, uh, you know, the, the choice has to be made every single day of what we're willing to, to, to give and invest for what we want. And uh, at times today we did that, at other times we did not. And, uh, you know, we have to continue to work and make that choice, uh, you know, as a football team and as individuals on, on what, uh, what, what that standard um, is going to be for, for each one of us. I, I can promise you for, for the program, the standard will not change. And uh, we're going to continue to push, continue to get better. Uh, you know, we've got to continue to, to work in that positive direction uh, so we can, we can see that improvement in growth. With that, I'll take questions. Coach, when you have situations like that, and you know we got to watch, I guess, three of your practices in the spring, um, so we haven't seen you a lot coaching in practice. Uh, how do you handle those situations? How do you and your staff handle them? Is it constant um, encouragement or you know extolling, um, or is it at some point it has to come from the players? Um, and I think it's you know every person has a choice. I mean, every I mean, there's there's a variety of different ways that. Uh, coaches can take the can take the field, and our job is to inspire and help hold uh, account, uh, uh, players accountable uh, to what the expectation is. And you know, with, with each guy on our team, um, you know, they have they have a desire, they have an objective of what they want to accomplish, you know, on the field, with what they want to accomplish off the field. And it's our our job to help uh, you know, point them in the direction that how to get that accomplished. But um, you know, the, the work is theirs to do. And um, you know, at, at the end of the day. You know the the opportunity is here. It's now, and uh, you know, this is the only opportunity we have is with today's practice this Wednesday. It's all that we're guaranteed. Um, and I think if, if there's one thing that has been learned through 2020 already is that there's nothing guaranteed. So you have to maximize the day in the moment. And if we get a chance to play football tomorrow, we get to play football tomorrow. But if you didn't do it, it was necessary today, then that you're going to be limited on what you can actually accomplish. And um, you know, that's a, that's the core to, to our program is daily improvement. And, uh, you know, the coaches are going to do that. We are going to push. We are going to challenge. Uh, we're going to inspire. You know, it's not always about yelling and, and you know, being a jerk on the field. It's, a, it's about that inspiration uh, so that you see, you know, so you can see players that take it upon themselves that, that make the choice that, you know, they don't need the outside uh, influence and inspiration every single day. Uh, you know, there's some days that you do. There's some days I do. And uh, there's there's days that players inspire me to do my job better, and that's a that's a great thing. That's when you know that the uh, the, the culture and the mindset of, of everybody a part of this organization. That's where you want it to be. But, uh, but on the flip side of it, you know, um, it, it, it definitely there's a choice for everybody on that field and what they're willing to put out, and um, you know, it's usually what they're willing to get back. Mike, is is it a little disappointing in a way that you're in week three? Preparing for this game, and that you maybe had took a step back on the practice field today with some of the attitude and the, and the execution from some of the players. Say it again. You kind of broke up a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry. Is is it a little disappointing that you, you're you're in week three and midweek, get preparing for this big game, and that you you didn't get you know the same execution level that you wanted to see on the practice field today? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's always it's it, you know you go out to push to be the, the absolute best that you can be. Um, so anytime that you come up short of that, it is disappointing. Uh, yesterday was probably our best Tuesday practice that we've had throughout the season, and we just didn't quite follow it up today with uh, what we needed. And you know, last week, um, you know, our Wednesday practice was was you know really good. And so, uh, but we it also shows where we are. And you know, if we want to be consistent. We got to have consistent action and uh, you know, consistent consistent growth. Uh, you know, throughout the organization. And it's all I mean, it's it's coaches, it's players, everybody, everybody involved, all in this thing together. And so, uh, you know, so we've got to we've got to continue to do a, a better job uh, in all aspects. And there was, like I said, there were some bright moments. There's some players that had unbelievable prices today. But you know, I'm, as a as a as a whole, you you never know who it's going to come down to. You never know which you know, which you know, position group, which player, which individual has to be um, you know, has to show up in the moment. So you know, we all we all have to be accountable for each other. And uh, you know, that's that's one of the things. It, is it shocking? Uh, we're still in week. Th we're still in week three. I mean, it is. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of growth that needs to happen within this team. And um, you know, we're the great thing is that we're all here together, and we have we have a choice to make. 
Coach, when you're going through a practice like today and some of it's subpar in that sense, do you think guys realize that in real time? Or is that something maybe they don't – they're not able to self-evaluate in the moment and understand that they're not doing it to the standard you expect? Well, they get encouragement throughout throughout that uh, uh, that time. And so we try to uh, – you know, I, I, don't, I don't ever go on the field just to say things to say things. You know, I try to be very specific. I try to uh, be very uh, – transparent and what what I see with with every with every player as part of my job as a coach is to evaluate what the uh, what you're getting and then obviously to be able to to uh, take the steps you know for the uh, for the reaction to it and, and how guys are going to apply the correction and so uh, there were some guys that you know, maybe didn't start off as good as they could have at the beginning of practice and you know I thought finished up well um, you know it's just you know I'll, I'll tell you you know I'll make the yeah, Tamara Terry, I think, is having a, you know, the last two weeks of work. I mean, his his approach, his mindset has really been, you know, so much so much improved uh, from where it was earlier in earlier in the year. And to see him, you know, you know making that choice, uh, it's not just what he's doing on the practice field, but uh, you know, uh, in, in every aspect. I mean, you know, I'll give him a little bit of positive in that regards. I mean, you look at that running back group. I mean, they every day they come out to work. I mean, there is a there's an absolute purpose and a passion for what they're doing, and and you see that group getting better. And so, uh, and there's a lot of guys. I mean, you can pick every, every position group has, has you know, multiple guys that are, that are doing the right way, but we just need more consistently consistency across the board. And uh, you know, we get that, we, we give that real time uh, uh, feedback. But then you also, you know, the choices made when you're done with it, you go and look at it and you know, how can you improve? And what can you do to apply it to get better? Uh, is it something, I mean, in the first, couple minutes, first couple periods of practice where you can kind of maybe identify the day where you think they're going to meet kind of your standard or maybe a day where they're not going to find that consistency. And I guess the standard may not change, but does how you kind of deal with your team change? If you kind of identify early on, it may not be a day where you think they're kind of meeting the standard. Uh, no, I'm going to coach, I mean, I'm going to coach them to what our standard is, uh, you know, at, at every point. I mean, it's, I've never been a part of a practice that was perfect. And uh, you know whether it's whether there's uh, uh, you know mistakes early, whether the mindset you know I mean there's there's been times we come out of, come out of stretch and at the very beginning of practice with unbelievable energy, and maybe at some point of the practice there's a lull, and you know it's our job to pick it up and make the corrections when those when those moments arise. That's uh, that's also what it looks like in a football game at points. You know I mean there's times that momentum goes against you there, where there's a bad play, you know you've got to be able to respond and. That's what I love about the game of football. That's what I love about you know the, the job and and the opportunity that I have is because you know it is it's it's about helping inspire guys. It's about helping you know um, you know lead guys to to being better than what they even think they can be at times. And so um, you know it, it's you know to answer your question. I mean it's it's all ever changing. I mean it's sometimes early, sometimes late, and so we just uh, um, we coach the moment. Coach, uh, this is Jerry Kutz with the Osceola. Question, um, uh, first of all, let me say I applaud your candor. Um, too many times uh, we don't hear that kind of candor. What, 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 what inspires you to, to be so candid with us today about that issue? Because um, it, it's real. I mean, that's what we, what we experienced today. And, um, you know, it's no different than you know, talking to the team. I mean, like I said, they were good. They were bad today. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, our football team knows it. And, you know, just to, for us to continue to grow, I mean, we've got to make it, we've got to make the choice. I mean, I can come in here and say that, you know, it's not that it was the best practice we've ever had. And that would mean nothing because, you know, there would be a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, players that read that and they know that wouldn't be accurate. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we've got to, we've got to go out there and continue to work. Um, it wasn't, the worst practice I've ever been a part of. It was there was just there were moments that we've got to make a, uh, a decision to you know the consistency of what we're looking to do and, and to, the, to the standard of what we're looking to do. Uh, we've got to be better, and so that's going to be our, our focus as we as we continue on through the week is to be better and uh, put ourselves in the best position to go out and play a, a great game Saturday night. When you guys were at Arizona State um, and played Notre Dame, you guys had some success, a lot of success on offense. And um, what was the mindset going into that game? Uh, you know, I know Notre Dame is kind of a unique program in college football history. Um, how did your guys 
approach that game and, and uh, what, what were some of your takeaways from playing them? You know, really, and that's, you know, some of those years and, uh, you know, uh, it was kind of unique because I played, I was on staffs that played Notre Dame like four out of five years, whether it's at Tulsa when we went up there, uh, you know, uh, in Pitt the one year we played them and then, you know, two years at Arizona State. And uh, you know, the biggest thing is the same thing we tell our guys here, it's not about the opponent. It's about, you know, what we're, what we're willing to invest, what we're willing to do. Obviously, the moment is going to be great. You know, it's going to be Saturday night, South Bend, uh, national TV. Those are all wonderful things, right? They're great ex excitement, um, you know, but uh, it's not about what they do. It's about what we do, what we're willing to, uh, to, to invest in, in, in our preparation and making sure that we're ready for the moment. And then in the moment, go enjoy it. Go have fun. Go apply the things that you learned. Go apply the um, you know, the game plan that we have and play your best ball. I mean, I absolutely believe in, in this team and these players. And it's it's not so much about what Notre Dame's going to do. You know, they, they've got good players. They're top five ranked team in the country. Yes, they're good. I mean, they, they do a lot of good things uh, in every phase. They consistently have done that. So we've got to go focus on ourselves. We've got to play to our best ability and, you know, go out there and make the plays and we get the opportunity to make them. And, you know, I don't make a – too, too much of, and we didn't. We, even back when I was at Arizona State, we didn't make too much of who the opponent was. We knew it was, uh, there's a lot of eyes that, that, are, that always watch whenever, uh, uh, you know, Notre Dame, and in fact, there's a lot of eyes every time Florida State plays. So, you know, that's, that's something we should be used to, and we just need to go play our best ball. What's the challenge that Notre Dame does pose, though, with the size and experience they have on both lines, offensive and defensive lines? I mean, that's, you know, you know, obviously those guys have played together. Uh, there's a lot of continuity. Uh, you know, you see, um, you know, very well established within their, you know, what they're being asked to do offensively and, uh, you know, defensively. Um, you know, they, they play, they play with confidence. They play, uh, you know, play together. I mean, it's a, it's a unit and uh, I think they're extremely well coached, uh, you know, in, in all three phases, but, you know, you look at the, at, at, at their fronts, I mean, that's, that's a group that has you know, played a lot of football and uh, obviously achieved a lot of success. And so you see that confidence in what they play with. So, um, you know, they're big, they're strong. Obviously they, uh, uh, you know, they, they've been able to work together uh, for, for a long time. And uh, you know, I think it's what, uh, you know, what you see from most, uh, most of those, you know, the forcing units. Coach, sorry for looping back on the practice stuff, but on a positive note, do you see any players stepping up as like leadership, stepping up and enabling the others around them before you or any of the other coaches have to step in and say something? You know, I mean, I, I really like, uh, yeah, I think I mentioned that running back room is, is one that's impressive. But, you know, even in the defensive backfield, I mean, there's there's guys, you know, Jay Woodby, I mean, shows up every single day, Renardo Green, uh, you know, Asante Samuel, those guys are, uh, have done an exceptional job. Uh, uh, you know, just day in and day out, coming out there and, and really you know, working at a very high level. And uh, you know, I'm excited about what I'm seeing. And, and those guys, you know, they they challenge each other. It's not, they're not perfect. I mean, no, 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 nobody's perfect in that. I mean, you know, you see guys on on the offensive line. I think that that group is is really starting to work and develop. I'm really pleased with the effort that our quarterbacks give. Uh, you know, I think that they are they definitely. Um, you know, bring the right mindset and the, and the approach and into their competition and how they how they uh, you know, work through the process. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, today was not collectively as a football team where I wanted to be. It was a, there's a lot of good performances today. You know, we have to get better for, for us to you know get to where we want to go. You know, we have everybody living up to that standard. And that's what we're going to continue to work towards. All right, and the last one for today. Uh, because he was so highly recruited, a lot of people have been asking uh, why Demory Tate hasn't been more of a factor. How is he doing, and um, is there going to be opportunities for him? Do you think going forward? No, I mean Demory's doing 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 well for us. You know, this year he's actually uh, um, having to take an academic redshirt uh, you know, due to some things from early in his uh, high school career. You know, unfortunately, you know there's circumstances that uh, you know he had to, to, to work to overcome. I'm really proud of him. Uh, for the for the, the way that he finished his high school career, especially academically, everybody points to football, and that's one thing. But uh, to be able to get himself here and to put him in this opportunity, uh, so unfortunately he won't be available for us uh, you know, uh, for this season. Uh, uh, but he's doing a great job of going out there, developing, working. Uh, he's got the right mindset, uh, uh, you know, in, in understanding that you know he's got to he's got to improve, he's got to get better uh, you know, for when the moment does arise, and and you know. 
uh, even though that'll be this this next season, uh, you know, he's continuing to to try to get better, and you know, we, we hold him to the same exact standard, and uh, you know, he's he's really uh, you know growing in that, and uh, you know, expecting big things as as he uh, continues to develop. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, Coach Marv will be our next um, next one up. 